Section 6.2, the unit circle and circular functions. This section is actually not part of the 2412 curriculum. However, I want to do just a snippet of it in order for you to have to review the unit circle. Okay, so this is going to be a very short section. Okay, hopefully you remember this stuff from your trick class. Okay, on the first page, all there is is a picture of the completed unit circle. Okay, so you need to know the unit circle especially if you read this statement if you plan on venturing through the calculus sequence it is in your best interest to memorize the unit circle if you haven't done so already okay um, you're going to need to know these things off of the top of your head okay so make sure you review this okay if you haven't seen it since your trig class uh, make sure you know where the angles are located, how to convert the angles between degrees and radians, and then for each angle, you need to know the XY pair on the unit circle that corresponds to that particular angle, okay? If you need practice with like just simply writing the unit circle down, okay, what you can do is go into D2L, into the module entitled the unit circle, and there, you will find this exact picture, so a filled in copy of the unit circle, and there's also a blank copy there, so that you can, and there's blanks, so you can, you can fill in the blanks to, you know, kind of test yourself if you do have this thing memorized or not, okay? So we're going to spend a few minutes now just talking about or refreshing your memory about how to use the unit circle. <laughs> 